Ah, Jack the Ripper. We meet at last. You don't know who I am. I might not be Jack the Ripper. No, it's definitely you. You've been committing those ghastly murders on the prostitutes in Whitechapel. Oh, yeah, well, they deserve it, them prostitutes. They're all like, oh, fancy a shack, squire? Yeah, you can't say no to a bit of, uh, bit of that. But uh, I'll tell you what the fun comes from. Yeah, removing their strawberry tarts when they're all hovis with my wife. Tarts? Hovis? Wife? What madness is this? <sighs> He's meant to be like the cleverest bloke in London. Right, strawberry tarts, hearts, hovis, brown bread, dead, my wife, it's my knife. Jesus! Well, uh, uh, it's irrelevant anyway. Uh, like Liam Neeson, I will catch you and I will find you. But I won't kill you. I doubt that, mate. I'm like a shadow. You'll never find me. Isle of Wight? Again, Isle of Wight, that doesn't make any sense. Are you talking in tongues or something? Are you talking gibberish? Oh, explain yourself, man. <sighs> Isle of Wight? Right! Regardless, I grow weary of this. I'm going to return to Baker Street, take some opium and pluck up my violin. Good day, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. It's been a pleasure. Superb. The mystery of Jack the Ripper's identity has confounded historians for decades, so who better to put on the case than the greatest fictional detective to have ever lived, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson. Travelling across Victorian London in third or first person view, you seek clues and close in on the killer. Most of the puzzles have simple point and click mechanics. Elsewhere, puzzles can increase the frustration factor as your task is not clearly signposted. The frustration builds thanks to how literally dark things are. It's not much fun stumbling around in the dark looking for clues, unless you're into that sort of thing. Within the limited menu options, you can keep tabs on your case, make deductions, and consult your map of London. This is where additional frustration will set in if playing on the 360. Controls are unintuitive and haven't been mapped properly from the PC's mouse and keyboard setup. Other issues lie in the gameplay, which stutters on occasion, and the voice acting is slightly suspect. Holmes sounds like he's battling a nasty cold, and most of the people you meet have a generic cockney patois. Slicing the throats of dead pigs aside, the story is engaging but is stretched over 10 hours of playtime. Fine on the PC, awful on the 360.